Hi, you guys haven't met this little girl. This is, well, my daughter named her Kalua, but uh, I call her Lulu. She's a wiener dog, of course. But that's Oscar's little buddy. Why did he, why did he hang a pan gasket on my, my son? He hung a pan gasket on my gun safe. That is not where that goes. I wonder what that pan gasket goes to. Anyways, uh, I need to find, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy one of those uh, shipping containers and like start building. My, my master plan is to like, my wife, she likes stacking crap up there where my extra parts should be, but that's been commandeered so I can't use it anyway. Uh, Oscar, be easy on her. She's just a little one. <clears throat> Wild man. We're going to have wiener time now in the shop. Oscar, be easy on her, buddy. Anyways, I'm going to buy a um, one of those shipping containers. I'm going to build shelves in there, and I'm going to start storing my parts. I've got turbos and... A lot of good parts that I just really it's a disorganized mess because I don't have anywhere to put this stuff so I, I'm gonna have to like I mean I've got hydraulic pumps and all kinds of good parts and this is a shift valve body off a case backhoe that the customer wanted a brand new one I asked him what he wanted to do with the old one he said I don't know you keep it and I said okay there's nothing wrong with that one that, that come off a 580 Super M with a uh, Carrero shuttle shift transmission. So if I started gathering up and organizing all these parts that I've got, I could probably make a fortune just off selling parts. But here's a cylinder head off a 3126 cap motor. It came out of a 45 Challenger. Uh, I need to send it to the machine shop. And it beat up one bottom side of the head, but it's, it's fixable. There's nothing that major wrong with it. But other than that, uh, uh, let's see here. Okay, guys, 6,400 John Deere. That's what this video is supposed to be about. Somehow I get sidetracked. You know me. I just start looking around going, oh, shit, what am I going to do with this? What am I going to do with that? And just, that's what happens when you get so many projects going. You can't keep straight of what everything you got laying around. So the original complaint on this tractor, <clears throat> which I've never seen this complaint before, was that the engagement... And C range, he said, was really rough, but he's starting to notice it in other gears now. And this is just a power quad transmission uh, in this. So basically, you're going to have a hydraulic transmission in the front and the range transmission in the back. So it doesn't make a lot of sense to me, the complaint. I tried to drive it around a little bit. This is actually at my little shop in town. And so we're kind of right in, right in Klamath here. And if I'm going to test drive this thing... I don't know if you guys we're, ha we're having wiener time here. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but we're having we're having wiener time, and we call it wiener time. The wieners are chasing each other in the shop here. It's it's, it's good times. Daisy's like, what the hell are these guys doing? Get them, Lulu. Anyway, uh, as you can kind of see there, before I even. I was, I was gonna go take this thing out on the highway and drive it, but this is a pretty busy road out here and look at this Look at this left front tire. Do you guys notice anything a little odd there? Okay, I'll show you here in a minute. That's the first thing we're gonna do. Let's put it this way It's bad enough that I don't feel like driving it anywhere really Because I'm afraid the front end's gonna fall off going down the road and I'm gonna hit somebody uh, Look at the bearing material there's the bearing material sticking out the bottom kingpin there. This is actually a uh, tractor that come from Burns, Oregon. Really nice people. Uh, really, really nice people. They brought the tractor down here to me to work on. Uh, actually, it was a YouTube viewer, Deerzilla. His name's Nick. He's uh, from that area. Uh, but he recommended them to me, and they brought the tractor down to me. So I thought that was pretty cool, Nick. But anyway, the first thing we got to do, I called the owner, or he actually called me 
while I was up in Baker City working on the, the, the cat and wanted to know what was going on with it. And I told him, I said, we got to fix this first. It's really bad. But anyways, we'll get the camera set up here and I'll jack the front end up on it before we start disassembling. And I'll show you exactly what we've got going on here. I got to go check on the fire too, huh? See if I can capture what's going on here. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty bad one, guys. So um, we're gonna pull this wheel off, and what we'll do on this is we'll try to save him some money. We won't pull the planetary part. We'll just basically knock the tie rod in loose here from the steering knuckle once we, after we pull the tire off and to save, save him from buying seals here and here you know you'll have your big hub seal and then your axle seal there we're gonna have to replace this axle seal here because we're, we're into it but we'll just knock the king pins loose i don't know we'll see we might end up pulling the planetary part if it got into the if it got into the knuckle it might have really screwed things up so gun well, all three of my big batteries are ruined they won't charge anymore so well that's not completely true one of them two of them won't charge one of them the clips it's they vibrated so bad the clips the clips won't stay on there and every time you go like that and you're trying to take something off you got to hold the battery in so it'll stay stay on because the little the little internal clips here are all screwed up from the vibration so anyway I have to kind of explain everything I do, it seems like, so... There's a lot of... There's a lot of people that don't engage their brain before they start talking and making comments. Okay. 
a different size, I think. Okay, it's not quick. I think it's actually an 18 millimeter. They were, yeah. Okay. Let's see here. All right, well. Probably going to be big hammer time. Okay, that cap is a little loose. So much. There's nothing left of that bearing. Yeah, it's pretty well done for. Okay, we'll get a little better look here in a second. Most of the rollers and everything and the cage is broke and it's all laying in the top there. Oh, this one here is going to be a different story. It's not wanting to move at all. so bad on a bearing cage, it was bad. It was one of those things where you throw all your shit down and you get in the pickup and you go to the emergency room and get your hand sewn back together. That was one of those things. Wasn't a good thing. Now this one's, the cap stuck on this one. Well, okay, air hammer. Okay.
You should fall off of there pretty soon. Right on my pillow or something. bearing cage and the problem with letting things go like this is you have the real possibility of ruining the axle housing see all the bearing laying down in here I gotta be careful here that he doesn't cut his finger all up digging around in there that's why I got a rag sure that didn't go clear through the bearing race and get into the axle housing not on the top anyway we're good to go there we got to get bearing and race for it we got to look at this too though when we're doing this and make sure it didn't ruin this the cap the cap seems to be okay just well i don't know let's see we gotta get that that old chewed up bearing race off there. I think it'll be okay. Oh, she's got oil in her anyway. Plug the hole there. Keep oil from running around on the floor. What do we got down here? Let me get my flashlight out on my phone. I'll take a look at the bottom. Uh, I gotta go get another rag on. Okay. Should be some seals that go in this thing too. Let me get my little flashlight on my phone turned back on. Yeah, this is savable. It did get into the housing here where the seal goes, but for what it is, I mean, pack it full of grease and shove a seal in it and see, I don't know, it's kind of chewed up right here. See where it chewed it all up on the housing itself? That's not good. Well, we gotta get these bearing races out of here. Do a little welding on this bearing race and see if we can get her popped out of there.
Well, better shrink down a little bit there. I guess I'll do the fun one on the bottom. While that one shrinks, oh, I need to move this. That's not going to work there. Hammer do. She's moving. Center side doesn't want to pop free though. See anything completely obvious that would be obstructing it? Looks like it should come out of there. Well, we might beat it back down and, and uh, might have to take a die grinder and clean up and bevel that edge to get it out of there. If we go back down. Yeah, it's loose or just something hanging it up up there on the top where the bearing wallering around in there. It's got a ridge right here. We'll have to get the die grinder. Let's get the. What did I do with that phone? That's a good question. Don't you like it when you lose everything? Yeah, there's a ridge right here on the. Turn on a little flashlight on the phone. Right there, there's a ridge built up on it. We're going to have to get that cleaned up before we can get it out of there. Yeah. 
completely wrong. And it's kind of good that I'm documenting this. This is a new customer from not a local area. So it's good to document stuff like this and show him, you know, because he, he's on a budget and he, well, he wants this fixed for a certain price. And this wasn't part of the, you know, the cost. Uh, but as you can see, we're going to have to, I mean, if this was an oil seal, like an axle housing here, something of that nature, I would say, Either you take it to a machine shop and get it turned right. But on this, it's just a, and I'll tell you what I've done on these before. I did this to a 2755. I took the caps and I drilled holes in them. I drilled a hole through the cap and what, yeah, we took the bearing off, we clear through it and put a grease circ in the top and the bottom. And because we had a similar thing to where it chewed up the seal ride like this, see where it's got into that seal ride. What we're going to do is we're going to take some welding rod. We're going to weld a couple beads around this and we'll make it about the same diameter as this area here. And we'll just taper it with a die grinder to where a seal will go back in there. You know, it'll be pretty good. It's just a, it's just a grease fitting it's not like a wheel seal or actually it's just a kingpin seal it's nothing really vital but as long as it'll somewhat we can pack that full of grease and it'll somewhat hold it and keep the dirt out of it that's what we're looking for so the same thing on the bottom i'm gonna have to take the die grinder before i even try on that one and try to clean that burr out and get that one out of there we're gonna weld it up and we're gonna turn it down because if you took it to a machine shop you know what they do they would weld it up and they would turn it down <laughs> That's what they would do. So, we're going to get these bearings. Let's see here. Ah, man. See, we might weld this too and pop this race off. There ain't much. I could have put a knife edge bearing spreader and put it in the press, but there's nothing to grab onto on this side. So, it's not going to grab that race, that inner race of that bearing anymore. Where's that cap at? Where is the other cap? What did you do with it, Warren? Okay, and there's the other one. It's not as bad. That one, that one there we'll put in the press and we'll just pull it off. 
so anyway I'm gonna do that right now I think and then I'm going to weld this up with the old 7018 weld it up and then we'll gotta get this bear off of here it's walled this out to where it's got a ridge on it we'll grind that off flat and then we'll just take the die grinder in here till it's pretty smooth I mean it, it hasn't got to be perfect we got to make it to where the new bearing race will go in there and where the seal will say I'm there somewhat snug you know and seal it up well it's not gonna be perfect we'll probably take some some uh, anaerobic sealer and put it around the outside edge that way the outside edge of the seal seals up against a rough edge from the from the carbide burr you know doing that and then we'll just that's what we'll do I just welded a bead there where it was worn down. Now we're gonna take the old die grinder to it and start shaving on it. That takes a while to do that. Start on the smooth edge, kind of work your way around. Anyways, that's what we're doing. I don't see any sense in videoing that whole entire process, but I'll just keep working at it here. I'll probably weld a little more here and try to get a little smoother up here on top. And I'll probably go over it again until it looks kind of like that, you know, kind of smooth there. It takes a little work to get there, but it'll be pretty damn good. Anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to, and thumbs up, please. Appreciate it. Bye.